it is that time of the week or perhaps the month. Yes, we've got some uh, Giga iOS footage to cover, some progress. It's been three, four weeks since we've had a chance to review it, but that means I got my good buddy Mark here from The Tesla Life Show. Check him out every Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, along with Pat and Casey. They do a heck of a fun show, but we're going to talk about what's going on just outside of Reno, all the progress there. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Oh, oh. So, Mark, it's been a, a big week generally, but let's just focus on a big month out at uh, Giga iOS. And yes, that is what we're calling it. Indeed. Indeed. Zengler is back on the airwaves, posting some information for us. Apparently, he had to go to Seattle to dog sit on a very critical mission. Uh, didn't mention he was in the Northwest. What am I supposed to do? I'm very lonely. No one visits. <laughs> no. I'll allow it just this once. Just this once. So what we've got here is uh, the factory. And uh, perhaps you've seen it before. Smack him a thumb, a thumbs up. I always do. Uh, and if we scroll forward here, for new viewers, you should know, I do not show uh, the video itself. I just show the, uh, the, the stills from it. Uh, because if you want to see it, go over to his channel, subscribe over there. He needs all the love. So this thing we thought was definitely going to be a display ramp. It appears they have cut it out in the middle. So maybe it is a sand trap. <laughs> I still don't think it's a sand trap, but, but could it be that they need to fill it with concrete? And that's why they had to dig it out. Although uh, it looks like it's been dug down pretty deep, pretty deep. He yeah. said also it doesn't display well from the street. So you wouldn't necessarily see it there. More questions mm. than answers on that. As we go around the site itself, what you will see is a whole bunch of equipment outside kind of everywhere. Uh, that is very encouraging. A um, little bit of a, of a cordoned off track area here. They're putting in, they're sinking these into the ground uh, to put up rails. So this could very well be part of a test area. Yeah. Yeah. Over by the mega chargers. We don't see actual progress itself. What we see instead is uh, the next best thing, a whole bunch of equipment next to it that may or may not and probably isn't part of the Mega Charger setup. Boy, oh, this hotel internet is killing me. <laughs> Would you load for crying out loud? <sighs> Interesting that these I-beams... Uh... That's pretty serious. You're right. It, it's probably a guardrail because uh, you wouldn't sink I-beams into the ground unless you were holding up some some good structure. No. That, uh, uh, that's probably, uh, yeah, uh, guardrail like probably makes most sense there. Well, you can see the outline of it. There we go. So uh, this is all stuff we've seen, but next to it, you will see additional uh, stuff that is being unwrapped does not look like charger equipment to me. The sizes are too big. These look like indoor industrial racks for production soon. Mm. And, and that's happening all across the iOS uh, campus. There's, there's a ton of equipment that's on the outskirts of it. And it seems to be that that's part of the construction process, right? They're, they're bringing in different pieces for assembly lines, for the actual uh, electricity, for the plumbing, all that stuff is just uh, being brought in from different areas of the plant and the outsides of the plant uh, in order Vast. to facilitate that. So when you see all this equipment going in, what does it mean to you? That means that um, we're getting a lot closer to, to serious production to me. Yes, that is exactly what it means. Now, uh, why do we know that this is going into production quickly? There's only a few, well, CyberCab has been ready for production, but they can't make it yet. Well, we know what the holdup is on CyberCab. The yeah. brains of the operation is not there. So let me ask you on Semi, what are the constraints? Uh, not enough demand? Nope, that is nope. not a problem. <laughs> that, is, that is definitely not the issue. Engineering isn't finished? Nope, they're no, done. No, do doesn't appear to be so battery supply constraint possibly possibly so i did some digging and what i found is as you know 2170s are what go into the three y and uh and semi 2170s come from next door could you add enough of them 
right now to supply 10,000 semis, AKA 100,000 cars? And the answer to me is no. However, Panasonic's factory in Kansas City came online just a few months ago. Uh, and they appear and to be making 2170s, 2170s, according to Panasonic. Who could yeah. those be for? Yeah. That, that def- well, it could be for any of those vehicles, but you're right. Uh, it's, the added production certainly helps uh, the building of semi, for sure. But it is for Tesla, almost definitely. Uh, yeah. And so there you go. Uh, The only other thing, the only other thing is that the only other thing is that uh, maybe they're uh, waiting for, um, you know, permits, I guess is the last thing. So great. Mm. Uh, It's not that. Uh, The only other thing. Well, remember the last update we got, uh, there was, uh, there was the talk about significant growth in production in the fourth quarter. Yes. Which we have uh, yes. now entered. Mm-hmm. Um, that's also true in Shanghai. Shanghai has told us to expect increased production, to which I say, how? How? Uh, because phew, they produce a lot there. Uh, can almost get a view inside. If you really squint, really blow it up, really watch the video on Zangler's channel, please do that. You will see what appears to be stamping equipment is in the building. And we have it on good authority that the last of the big shipments from Texas have arrived. Mm. So like, That's like with any, with any new plant going into, into uh, production, you're going to have after the equipment's been installed, they've got to run through commissioning. They've got to make sure that things are lined up properly, that parts are moving in the right areas at the right time. There, there is some extras that are going on. I am sure they've made a difference uh, to the production line compared to where they first made the semi and where they made limited amounts of them. So you get into high production, you're going to have a, a different floor plan. You're going to have a different way of... Um, of uh, uh, producing these vehicles with the, with how it's laid out. All true. Um, so what that means is it's that time, you guys. Oh, <laughs> this is the part of the show where we answer your questions from last week. I'm going to like that video because I like that video. I like you guys who ask the questions. So let's get to the questions uh, from the last week, you guys. Good stuff. Uh, uh, Jamie. Channel fan, channel regular. I heard they've been there have been a rash of Tesla hubcaps stolen in Canada. How well do you really know Mark? Mm-hmm. We're not seeing anything at all about that. Nothing at all. Don't worry. There's other comments. Might it be the anti-science movement is having more success in the U.S. than in other countries, and thus the abundant FUD around vaccines, climate change, and Tesla, and the elimination of the IRA credits? PBS had a segment this evening. Do you think the anti-science movement is responsible for, in some way, the push against EVs? No, I don't think it's a... I don't think so. Okay. I... um, I'm happy to blame anything bad on the anti-science movement. I'm, I'm very, hey, these are idiots. They deserve it. I'm very frustrated to see people say, well, I don't understand this, therefore it's bad. And I've seen a lot of people say, well, you know, this climate change hoax. Hey, if you think it's a hoax, first of all, you're mistaken. But the bigger thing is, do you like pollution? Because pollution also sucks. Do you like breathing exhaust? I don't. Maybe clearly, clearly some of those people uh, do because. That's an interesting point, Brian. Uh, Maybe this question to you. Have you noticed that you've become more sensitive to exhaust smells since you've owned an EV? Absolutely. Yes. Without a doubt. Yes. When I'm at the airport and there's diesel fumes everywhere from all the equipment dragging luggage around and all the buses and all the. Yeah, absolutely. I've noticed that as well. Yeah. Why is nobody complaining uh, about that the sustainable energy incentives have gone away while the U.S. continues to pump tens of billions into big oil? Um, Actually, actually some people have been complaining, It's uh, but they have an administration that uh, tampers that down. Uh, When it comes to media reporting on things, 
there's just there's a huge there's a huge amount of people that are upset about it and there's a huge amount of people that aren't like you guys the guys in the states are you're quite divided at this moment in time more than ever before i think and you've got you know uh it's easy to not notice something bad that has been bad for a long time uh so and big oil subsidies are not new so it's easier to say well ev incentives are new get rid of them but oil incentives not new don't get rid of them it's it's yeah it's tough in a fist fight between tom cruise and henry cavill in mission impossible cavill who'd played superman cocked his arm back as if ejecting a shell and reloading a shotgun your viewer was referring to that scene i have no idea <laughs> do, know. do you re we're not saying you're wrong, Alan. We're saying that was like a week ago. That was so long ago. We don't remember. Apologies. Aren't the 18650s made in uh, the Panasonic Tesla plant near Sparks? No, those are from Japan. Right. The 18650s yeah. that go into the SNX are made in Japan. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. What happened to the title Clean Tech Win? Uh, the title changed on this video partway through the week, and that's because uh, we're allowed to upload more than one title. YouTube will automatically test them to see which one works better and then go with that one. So so uh, the AI uh, is king there. That's what you're it, saying. No, what I'm saying is <laughs> what people what people chose to engage with. When the editor's on vacation and I do the headlines, they're very accurate and no one watches. Uh, and the people saying, you don't have to use those uh, splashy titles to get me to watch. Yes, I do. Because you only comment on those videos. Apologies. It's really just human nature, I think, that's to blame on this one. But question, can someone tell Mark that hubs do not make good sound baffles? Well, I... That may be the case. I guess I'm going to have to pad them. <laughs> Which is weird because you normally live in a padded room, so I don't know what that's about. Oh, oh come on. How do you think I know if I wasn't in there with you? <laughs> Why does this discussion make me think of the Burns Slant Drilling Company, I assume from The Simpsons? And don't blame Jehovah. The Middle East was all he knew about at the time. That, that joke I don't get. Um, I'm guessing we're talking about slant drilling but i don't know any comments on that i am lost on that uh, statement completely but you know what you still get a heart how about that <laughs> i don't know guys in the comments what do we miss what do we miss oh my gosh my camera has been dipping and i haven't even noticed hi there hello i i will for the next video tighten the screw i promise uh guys in the comments what do we miss what do we misunderstand leave it i beg of you uh I'm just going to wrap this up because I'm running out of getting smaller and vertical smaller space. And it's, it's not even a popsicle illusion. What? 